Hey there everybody, it's Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. Today I want to share with you the two main perennial nitrogen fixing plants that I've chosen to establish throughout my backyard food forest. Wisteria and Ceanothus are both long-living attractive plants that take up nitrogen from the atmosphere or the air and turn it into nitrogen fertilizer in the soil which is useful for themselves and for their neighboring plants. With the wisteria, um, you can actually prune back the wisterias to suit your landscape. So whatever size you want to prune it back to, it's up to you. You by no means need to let it go wild and, and get up to 40 feet. I've had two different wisteria plants growing in the backyard now for three years and they're beginning to blossom now. I did get some flowers last year, not many, but this year they're really coming on strong. Uh, another great benefit to wisteria, when you do prune back, uh, you release some of those nitrogen nodules as the root dies back below the surface because it's no longer needed to maintain such a larger shrub. So every time you prune back the wisteria, you're getting mulch that you can chop and drop, add to hugel culture, and you're also getting nitrogen with the root fall off under the soil. That's another great benefit. Um, they attract bees and other pollinators. Uh, that's a wonderful thing to have in a food forest setting or any garden. I absolutely love the flowers. They're attractive. Uh, the fragrance is wonderful. One of the best features of the plant is that it has a possible lifespan of up to 100 plus years. So um, just, you know, establish this into your system and pretty much not have to worry about nitrogen in the area forever. So what else? I think I covered mostly everything. They are adaptable from zones four through nine. So now the second plant, Ceanothus, also known as the California wild lilac. There's many reasons why I love this plant. One reason is that it grows everywhere around here. Commercial buildings uh, alongside the roads. My neighbor's backyard's got a big shrub. So this is something that does very well in my area, which is an important feature to think of. It's also an evergreen which is important to me when I'm designing my garden in the backyard is that I wanna place evergreen shrubs strategically. So I'm thinking what everything's gonna look like in the winter. So I love the fact that it's an evergreen. And it puts off these beautiful blue flowers in the spring. And uh, apparently there's 55 different species of Ceanothus and they range from zones three to 10 in hardiness. So pretty much, you know, no matter where you're at, for the most part, you're able to integrate this into a food forest system. Uh, one of the best features about this plant is that it's drought tolerant. It wants very little water through the summer months. Um, it loves to have a well-drained soil and it likes full sun, but water is not really an issue with this plant, which is why I feel like it's a great plant to plant in between my fruit trees because once established, I'm planning on watering those trees hardly at all, if ever. And so the Ceanothus should just fit in right between the fruit trees and help to bring fertilizer to those trees. I'm excited about that. Another a great thing, just like the Wisteria, is that it attracts bees and other pollinators, butterflies. And in the case of Ceanothus, a lifespan of between five and 20 years. Uh, I've heard even longer than 20 years. So it really boils down to their environment, how happy they are, where they're at and such. So those are the main reasons why I've chosen these plants. One last thing about the Ceanothus is that it's pest and disease resistant, which is another great benefit. So as you can see, I've made my decisions here on which permanent perennial nitrogen fixtures I'm gonna be establishing in here. I'll be adding other things, other nitrogen fixtures and biodynamic accumulators in the system as well. Right now, it looks like Ceanothus, Wisteria, and Comfrey are my three soil builders, along with all the mulch from all the trees and such. So just wanted to share with you guys, you know, where I'm at with my project and just show you some pictures and give you a little bit of information about these plants. So yeah, look into it and see if you can fit it into your system, perhaps. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of that. Anyway, hope you're having a great day out in the world. Plant more abundance in your life.